For this exercise, we're going to be using the results of the Ghosted Planes exercise from the previous section, so I hope you kept those pages. If you didn't, you'll just need to redo them before moving on to this exercise. What this exercise asks of you, on paper, is pretty simple and straightforward, but you will find that it's a fair bit more challenging than it looks. The goal here is to draw ellipses inside of planes such that the ellipses are confidently drawn and evenly shaped, maintaining an elliptical shape without distortion, and that the ellipses touch all four sides of their plane. As always, the confidence and evenness of our ellipse depends entirely on how we choose to approach drawing it. If we choose to set aside accuracy and focus only on this first priority of achieving an even shape, then we can do that. It's simply a matter of choosing to ignore the bounds of the plane and choosing to execute it with our whole arm without any hesitation. Of course, many of you will find it very difficult to ignore the plane because it's right there staring you in the face, demanding that you avoid overshooting or undershooting its bounds. As a result, lots of students end up making their ellipses really stiff and deformed, forcing them to touch the side edges at all costs. As discussed before, and we'll no doubt discuss this again in the future, this is an incorrect order of priorities. If your ellipse isn't evenly shaped, then you shouldn't even be worrying about accuracy. Get the first priority, confidence and fluidity of your mark, down, then worry about accuracy. Now, there are, as always, some things that will help us achieve these goals, and we've introduced them already. Firstly, we want to be drawing through our ellipses, going around the shape two full times before lifting our pen. As mentioned in the tables of ellipses exercise, this is something we're going to be doing for every ellipse we draw freehand throughout the entirety of this course. Secondly, using the ghosting method will help us improve our control and accuracy without sacrificing the confidence of the execution. And thirdly, as always, we're drawing with our whole arm from the shoulder to promote a nice smooth flow to the stroke, even for smaller ellipses. As with all of the exercises, don't expect mastery. Whenever you're introduced to an exercise as part of a lesson in this course, the point is for you to demonstrate that you understand what you should be aiming for, not that you have the technical skill to pull it off correctly just yet. What you're making here is a body of work that represents what you can currently do when you put your all into it. That's not perfection, that's just what you can achieve right now. Then, when you get that work critiqued by someone else, they're able to give you suggestions and advice and your next steps based on what you can do right now. It's not about impressing anyone or really showing off how good you are, it's just so that people can understand how best to help you right now. Here's what it should look like when you're done. 